so in this example it is given that a biconcave lens is made of a transparent material of refractive index uh, 1.5 so we can write that refractive index of lens is equals to 1.25 and it is also given that it is immersed in water and water's refractive index is 1.33 so water is a surrounding for this lens so we write mu of surrounding is equals to 1.33 so will the lens behave as a converging or a diverging lens so according to the lens makers formula let's calculate what focal length do we get for this biconcave lens which has a shape like this so this is a biconcave lens uh, similarly other types of concave lenses are like this is a plano concave lens and if we talk about something like this this is known as a convexo concave lens so basically all are diverging in nature if they are in air or a rarer medium for example vacuum but in this case the surrounding has a higher uh, refractive index or, or is optically more denser so let's for this lens let's uh, let's kind of analyze what the uh, focal length will look like so focal length of the lens uh, will be 1 upon focal length this is the lens maker's formula would be equal to mu of lens upon mu of s minus 1 into 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 so if we kind of analyze that this uh, the radius of curvature for this surface is r1 and the radius of curvature of this surface is r2 so if we see that r1 would be a negative quantity so this would be a negative quantity and r2 would be a positive quantity because the center would lie on towards the right and here the center of curvature would lie somewhere towards the left for this uh, concave surface so now r2 would be positive so ultimately this whole factor would be a negative quantity and very interestingly because this is a fraction mu l upon mu s mu l upon mu s is less than 1 so this quantity will also be a negative quantity so when two negative uh, quantities get multiplied so we will get a positive focal length so through the lens maker formula we can easily say that the focal length will be positive and uh, this also signifies that it will uh, behave as a converging lens and not a diverging lens in the case where it uh, the refractive index is greater for uh, the surrounding similarly we can also study the different type of uh, behaviors a concave lens can have for example this is the usual scenario where uh, the refractive index of lens is greater than that of the surrounding in which all the different types of concave uh, lenses act as diverging like biconcave, uh, plano concave and convexo concave all of them are acting as diverging here but as we see because of what we had have uh, just discussed before this that if mu l is less than mu s that is refractive index of lens is lesser than that of the surrounding then the, behave, the, the behavior of these lenses change to converging that is this and the same happens the same uh, behavior also pertains to the, that for a convex uh, lenses also so this will be uh, the answer to this uh, uh, the answer to this example would be converging so we will say that this lens will act as a converging lens and not a diverging lens